Hi guys, so today I have for you a nail polish collaboration and that is our autumn rack for 2021. Uh, this was put together by the lovely Amanda, the nail polish hound. Everybody's links will be down below so make sure you check those out. Uh, but here is what I have chosen. So I've got 12 polishes uh, to share with you today. They are very, they are to the more, um, I don't want to say dull, but they're not they're not so bright, they're more muted, I suppose. They're more to the muted selection of autumn polishes. Um, I was going to add some really bright ones in, but then the one I chose, I felt it was a bit more for Halloween, so, um, so I've left that one for now. So, I'm just going to start. These are in no particular order. Um, first up, we've got a lovely model zone, which I haven't worn for a long time. Uh, this one's called Purple Grey. And it's like, it is like a purple grey, but it has got like a sort of a brown touch to it. Um, and that's this one here. Uh, hopefully the camera is doing it justice, but if not you can see by the swatch photo. I really love this colour. Great one for the autumn. Uh, if you manage to pick this up, uh, that's great. This was, although this was a very old model zone of mine, I think. If I remember rightly, I got this in a set um, when I'd been abroad and it was on the aeroplane and I got this in a set then. Next up we have an Essie, um, I'm, I haven't yet swatched all of the gorgeous geodes actually, so I picked one out to go with my autumn rack and this one's called Of Quartz, um, and this one's just like a beigey holographic, but it's just got that sort of special touch to it, these ones, they seem to be extra sparkly. So that's Of Quartz from Essie. Uh, next up we have an OPI. Uh, this one's a funny one actually. I picked this one up, I want to say in a factory shop or was it? It was either in the factory shop or TK Maxx and I just love the combination. It's like this peachy colour or peachy coral and it's got these sort of, these iridescent gold shards in. They're very unusual. Um, this one was a little bit sheer. But after three coats it wasn't too bad, um, and I think I probably would wear it. But you can kind of see that shimmer in there. The lighting's not spot on today, it's, a, it's getting towards the evening, so I've had to turn the light on as well as got the daylight for me. Um, so that one was called actually Mural Mural on the wall. Um, yeah, an interesting one there from OPI. Uh, we then have a UK Indie, and that is one from Opulent Essences. This one's called Fire in the Sky and was gifted to me by Louise. It's a beautiful polish, however, it is a little disappointing because it doesn't really look like it does in the bottle on the nail. Um, it's like this midnight blue with, I want to say, like, pinky rose or possibly, like, reddish glitters in it. And they're really visible, I don't know if you can see, they're really visible in the bottle there. But unfortunately don't show up quite as well on the nail. It's still pretty, but yeah, it is a li little disappointing. Um, but yeah, so that's Opulent Essences and it was called Fire in the Sky. Uh, we then have a colour club. This one was one that I just picked up randomly, um, and it's called Love em and Leave em. Um This is definitely an autumn colour. It's sort of like a sort of brick red or a burnt auburn maybe. Absolutely gorgeous colour this one is. Great formula too. I still did two coats, but you could probably get away with one I think. That was from Colour Club. Um, we've then got a cute show. There's quite a lot of mainstreams in here actually um, this time I just realised. But these are the ones that 
you know, I thought I have done these all for my untrieds as well, so um, to get through some more of them. So this cute chair is called Quick as a Bunny, and it was probably Amanda that sent it to me. Actually, it's this, it's this sort of pale grey, uh, very pretty. It's a little darker than off white. Uh, so that one's from Cuccio. I don't know if that was meant to be like an Easter one because of the name with bunny in it, but but I put it for autumn. So uh, next up was is this really unusual brown from H and M called Highbrow Brown. It's kind of an ugly pretty, but uh, I wasn't sure to start with, but then I actually quite liked it. I did just buy it because it looks so unusual on the website, so and it certainly is an unusual shade. So there's that one from H&M. Um, then another indie which is from Glam Polish. This one's called Dragon Heart. Um, I don't remember the name of the collection. It's sort of like a mauvey colour with some orange and yellow and gold uh, shards in it. Very pretty. Great one for autumn. It's sort of like a pile of autumn leaves in the bottle there. That was, of course, a glam polish. Never a, never a great pick if I don't put a glam polish in there. We then got one that I got quite a while ago from Marc Jacobs. I actually bought two, and the one I've worn... Um, but this one I hadn't and I felt like this would be a, a good sort of autumn one with a bit of a twist. So this is called Purple Glaze and it is like a jelly polish but it is um, is a really lovely one. You can't really see it. It's very dark in the bottle there. Um, but I love these Marc Jacobs bottles so... Oh! <laughs> I'm going to drop it. Um, so yeah. That one's Marc Jacobs. Um, I would just keep the bottles because they're really nice. Um, we then got a Kiko. Now I'm sure I've probably added this into an autumn pick several times. But this is actually the first time that I've swatched it. Um, it's a pastel metal. And it's number 006. Which I don't think I've got a name for. Um, but actually it's a really nice metallic one there. It's not too brush strokey. That was from Kiko. And then we have another one from Kiko, which is called Pearly Indian Violet, and it is number 497. This is a beautiful, beautiful polish. Um, oh, just a really nice, rich, sort of winey, burgundy colour. Um, as you can see there, very pretty, quite dark. Then the autumn nights they draw in, don't they? So, so that one was from Kiko. Uh, we then got one from uh, Catrice, which was one of their. Oh, what were these called? I can't even remember what they were called now. Um, it's the Catrice Gold. Um, I think I nearly had the whole collection um, of these, thanks to Claire and Mrs. Cronall. Uh, this one's number one, which is Attracting Pomp, which is like a burgundy with the gold glitters in it. Uh, it is quite a little, maybe a little Christmassy, but I thought this one fits into autumn well as well. So I pop that one on. I do love this collection, they're all really pretty. Um, and then, last but not least, we have a Black Heart Beauty. I thought I haven't swatched one of these or worn one of these for a while. So this one, Teal Galaxy. Um, I just wanted to add another sort of colour in with what I'd picked. And it's just a holographic teal, but again, a very pretty polish. And of course, we've got the Magnificent Bottle. Um, there's that one there. Uh, so those are my 12 picks for my Autumn Rack. Um, it took me a while to get through swatching those. I did have a few more I was going to add in, but um, yeah, I just ran out of time, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. 
So I hope you enjoyed that guys. I'm really looking forward to watching everybody else's videos. I hope you enjoyed this. I haven't filmed for a, a couple of weeks because I started a new job. So um, yeah, there'll be videos up now and again, but uh, you know, unfortunately, um, life gets in the way sometimes. But I really wanted to take part in this collab and I'm hoping to do the next one, which would be a Halloween picks. Um, so again, don't forget to check out the links below. There's, a, I'm sure there'll be some fabulous videos mixed in again there, and you might even find some new nail YouTubers to watch. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you haven't already, and also leave me a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye.